Hello, welcome to the final video in our series for the Studio One New Users Guide about the layout and features within Studio One. Today I'm going to be talking to you about automation. Um, automation is a really fantastic tool to make your music and even your podcasts much more dynamic and, and making changes over time and, and, and giving things more shape and more color, right? Basically, automation is pretty simple um, to, to understand. It's basically changing a parameter over time. So what that means, um, I have the example uh, song that we've been looking at so far. So taking a look at the end of this song, you'll notice how it all fades out, right? Um, and you'll even see here the the... Um, fader for the the main volume channel went down to zero that's because I automated it to to send everything down to zero even though there's all this music here none of it's going through through the main channel so how I did that studio one makes automation really simple um, and that's one of the, the biggest features and biggest points for studio one um, is is just how simple it makes automation it's really quite nice all you have to do is basically, I'm going to touch this knob, and then up here in the top left hand corner, you'll see how it says volume and then main. And there's this little hand icon. So if I take the hand icon, I can then drag that down into a track. And you'll see my automation, right? So I added these points on a the line. These are the changes over time that I wanted to make. So. If you feel you line it up with the, the actual song, see it just follows that as it brings the fader down. Um, it's really simple, you know. You just click on the line, you you add a point, you drag it where you need to go. Now you can use it for more than faders, and you can even use it with programs that didn't originally come with Studio One. Thankfully, we do have an example down here in the recording studio with Vital, um, which is the, the synthesizer I used for this track, is is not part of Studio One or made by Personas at all. It's a third-party software. It's just a really great free um, wavetable synthesizer that I think is a really great tool that I, I want people to get a chance to, to use since they can easily take that home and use it because it's, it's free. It's fantastic. Um, so... What I can do it here, so say I wanted to adjust the panning, right? So how much left or how much right um, of the, the main sound here, of, of the lead. Um, you'll see when I, I click the knob here, and then now it says in vital oscillator pan one, for, for os oscillator one pan. This is oscillator one. Um, if you don't understand what an oscillator is, don't worry about it. Uh, just know it's a parameter within the synthesizer. So I'm going to take that, and then if I drag that onto the vital track, you'll see now that it's overlaid over the notes. So say I wanted to do something kind of silly, and I wanted to have these notes alternate between left and right for each note. So I can set, generally you want to set, the two points that I want to set when I'm when you want to make a, a more square shape, then you set one point beyond, otherwise it's going to move the whole line. I'll show you what that looks like. So if I just did these two and then selected them, it would just move the whole line down, which is not what I want to do. But if I set a third point here, I can go control click or shift click, sorry, and then drag these two down. And then I can move this over to here. And then I'll just move this one up. And then if I just take that, and I if I just drag and select all those points, well, let me select them. Come on. Oh, weird. I missed the first note here. So let's just go ahead and 
You can also, if you end up making a ramp like that, you can just add a point along the line. Boom, done. Um, and then you can just duplicate these. So hit D, duplicate, duplicate. So automation is, is one of those things that it can be, I wouldn't say finicky, but it's much more detail oriented. And I wanna give you enough of an example here so you can see what this would sound like. Oh, these first three bars, great. So for this, you're going to make sure, wanna make sure that you have headphones on. Um, if you're listening on speakers, or maybe on like a phone video. If you have the, the chance to put on headphones, if you're, like I said, listening through your phone or something like that, you won't be able to hear this very well, if at all. But I'll go ahead and play it for you, so. Right, it's a bit wonky. It's not really a thing I would do, right? Um, there's some sounds where that's useful, um, but not what I would do here. Um, but you see, it's, it's just as easy as dragging points on the line. And I can do that for any parameter in anything. Um, I, have, I have yet to, in all my experience with Studio One, run into a parameter that I can't automate. You, you just simply select the knob, and drag it into the automation channel. It's just that easy. Um, there's so many different things that you can do with this. It really, you know, it depends. Um, an, another example from this song of another piece of automation that I did um, was actually a delay effect. So delays, they create, um, they basically repeat the sound that was just previously played. Um, and there's a lot of that here, right? So you have the- Have you ever had a dream? Dreams, 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 right? Um, but I had a very different delay effect that I wanted to add towards the end to kind of give it a bit of a, a weirder sound. So if I'm, I'm just gonna solo this spoken line and you'll hear it. Seem to do you so much you can do uh, like, yeah, yeah, like that. That's a different delay effect. Um, I had it routed down over here and I simply just did the volume knob. On, on this channel. You could also go in here and say you had it directly on the track in the inserts. Um, you could move the, the dry wet, right? Which is pretty similar. Dry is the sound without the effect and wet is the sound with the effect. This is the percentage of, of the effect that's wet. So that's that's what that means. And so what I did is I just automated it. I wanted it to come in kind of towards when the song was wrapping up. Um, and so I just have you it start ramping up. You could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you do, you could, you, you want, you want. It starts to do so much, you can do come anything. in here, you know, and, and once the, uh, the delays had a chance to actually catch the sound. Um, it really starts to go and it's just a, it's just a small flavor, right? It, it's, it, you don't, it doesn't take over the whole sound, right? It just has that little bit of, you know, flavor there at the end of it. Um, which personally I really enjoyed. So I, I used it for the song. That's pretty much the basics of automation. You can really do almost anything with it. It's it's really quite a, a, a lot of people get very intimidated by automation, um, but Studio One makes it really, really simple. So you can just use it for, for all sorts of things to create very cool and unique and interesting sounds and much more dynamic and shifting sounds um, in, in ways that you couldn't normally. Um, with anything other than automation. And it can be a bit detail oriented, but oftentimes it's worth it, my experience. Um, but that's all I have. If you have any questions, um, please refer to the libguide. This is the, the video for automation on that, so there won't be too much about that. But if you wanna mess around with it, you can come down to the recording studio and ask just one of the recording studio staff. Any of us would be more than happy to help you out. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.